Hi, I'm Tess. I'm the executive chef of Ocean Grill up on the Upper West Side. Uh, tonight we are preparing a uh, Alaskan sockeye salmon um, with a summer bean succotash. Uh, right here we have some blanched cranberry beans, some roasted corn, grape tomatoes. We have a uh, fresh fava beans and wax beans that we're all going to add to our succotash. Uh, we're going to finish the whole plate with a lemon verbena gremolata. Um, what we have here is a combination of uh, fresh lemon zest, some fresh herbs. Uh, with the gremolata, you always want to add parsley, a little bit of mint. We add some chopped fresh uh, lemon verbena to that to add a lemony flavor. Uh, and fresh olive oil, salt, and pepper to keep it really simple. So first things first, we're going to uh, we're going to sear our salmon. Yes, sir. Okay. Some fresh salt and pepper. Really light. Okay. Um, we're using a cast iron pan, but any any uh, hot sauté pan at home will work. Uh, just make sure that you get the you get a nice blended oil or olive oil. Uh, smoking hot just so that the, the skin will get nice and crispy. What you want to do is point the fish away from you. Alright, set it in the pan, let it cook. You can even turn the heat up a little bit more. Uh, you don't want to move the fish until the skin is completely cooked. Alright, and that will allow it to uh, caramelize and get nice and crispy. If you start to move it, the skin will, will not come up from the from the pan. All right. While that's cooking, what we're going to do is make our sakatash. Whenever we hear of sakatash, uh, you want to think of uh, summer beans and corn. All right. Perfect combination. We are going to use some fresh olive oil. Lower that flame a little bit. We'll add our cranberry beans. Wax beans and fava beans. You want to be careful to add the uh, grape tomatoes at the very end so that you don't, they don't lose all their shape and texture. Alright, a little salt. Add a dash of pressure. As you can see, you start seeing the, the salmon start to cook at the bottom. And it will come up nice and easy. Alright. Um, Alaskan King Salmon is great. Uh, it's a great fish. It's good for you. Uh, we usually recommend it cooking it to medium rare, but of course everybody's taste is different. Um, you can just let it continue to cook. You can finish it in the oven or finish it on the stove top if you like. Now that our sacrifice is getting nice and hot, I'm just going to add the tomatoes to it. And then we'll just plate it. Add the stuff attached to the plate. Okay. This is our gremolata. Again, it's just fresh herbs, a little bit of shallots, lemon, salt and pepper, nice and fresh. Alright, perfect for the summer. Take the fish out of the pan. 
let it sit on a plate for a second. Let the, the juices kind of drip off of it. As we're ready to plate it, I'll just put it right on top of there. And there you go. Voila. All right, so that's how we cook uh, fresh Alaskan and king salmon at Ocean Grill.